Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, I know it's not a Wednesday, I know it's not a Saturday, but this week I'm feeling generous, so you've got an upload today, which is a Tuesday if you're watching this when it's released, um, because this weekend it was really, really beautiful in Cornwall. The sun was shining and I went on lots and lots of walks and my body feels it. So I thought I need to just move my body, I need to stretch everything out, so I thought why not share it with you. I know lots of you are walkers and runners and cyclists, um, so this is going to be a post-activity yoga class, whatever that activity is for you. So when you're ready, grab anything you want and we're just going to start actually standing at the top of the yoga mat. So come to stand at the top of the mat, just take the feet about hip distance apart, just spread the toes, place them down. Just rock a little bit forwards and backwards and then just find a moment just to find stillness, soften the shoulders, just find a nice tall spine and just let the eyes close for a moment. And let's just together take a full breath in and a big ah, let it go. Just one more time like that, big full inhale. And big sigh. Lovely, just let the eyes flicker open. We're just gonna get moving straight away today. So from here, just pick up your right foot and just place the back of the toes on the floor as you just stretch out through the front of the ankle. Maybe bring the hands onto the hips, just press the foot down. And you can either stay in stillness or begin to just gently circle the ankle. This always feels quite good after long walks or running. Beautiful, and then just take it the other direction. Might feel a little bit odd. Perfect, and then just to release that foot, give it a little shake, give it a circle, and then just place it back down. Lovely, and then flip the left toes over. Again, just press the foot forwards, feeling that stretch through the front of the foot, front of the ankle. And then again, either stay or begin to just take those circles. So just loosening up through the ankle joints. Perfect, and then just reversing that motion. Nice, and then just give it a little shake, a little circle, and then just place the feet back down. Beautiful, from there, just spread and press through the toes, release your arms next to your hips. Take an inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. And then as you exhale, place the right hand onto the right thigh, take a big side bend over towards that right hand side. Just push the hips over to the left, just feel that side body opening. Beautiful, and then inhale, reach both arms back to the sky. Exhale, left hand down, big side bend over to the left. Nice, inhale, both arms back up to the sky. And then this time, exhale, bend the knees as you begin to fold forwards all the way down over the legs and just let the heads relax towards the mat. Beautiful. From there, soften the shoulders, soften the knees, maybe find stillness, maybe find a little moment to sway from side to side. Just let the head go, let the shoulders soften. Beautiful. And then find stillness, relax the knees deeply, tuck the chin to the chest, and then very slowly just begin to roll vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up the spine, just releasing until the head and the neck come last. Beautiful. On an inhale, send the arms to the sky, reach up, maybe gaze to the fingertips. Exhale, forward fold all the way down, hands down again, bend those knees. Inhale to flat back, hands to the shins, lift and draw the shoulders back. Exhale, place the hands down, step the right foot back, step the left foot back, come into your high plank. And then just drop the knees so that underneath the hips, so you're in your tabletop position. 
Beautiful, spread and press through the fingertips. And then from here, let's just inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the chest. Exhale to round the upper back, chin to chest. Good, and then just continue to move through these cat and cows for a few breaths in your own time, with your own breath, and as always, maybe just adding in some other movements. So whatever your body needs, maybe that's circling through the hips, maybe that's releasing through the wrists or the shoulders, just moving around in any way that feels good, just wiggle everything out. Perfect, and then come back to your stillness in your tabletop position. From here, tuck your toes under, extend your right toes to the back of the mat, toes on the floor, heels pressing away from you. And then using your right toes, just for a moment, begin to rock forwards and backwards. So this is a really nice place to just stretch out through the calf muscles and the hamstrings, but also to release through the wrists and the right ankle. So just nice and big, bold motions forwards and backwards. Beautiful, and then find stillness. From there, lift the right toes off the floor, and we're gonna begin to bend the right knee. Take the left hand and see if you can reach around and find your right foot. From there, kick the foot into the hand and just lift into this tiger pose. Just stretching through the front of the right thigh, also opening through the left shoulder. Just a really brief visit, take a big inhale. And then exhale, release the left hand down, re-extend the right leg. And then just place the right knee back towards tabletop position. Beautiful, from there, extend the left toes to the back. Again, flex the heel towards the back of the mat. Find stillness, push the, push the mat away, sorry, so you're pressing the heel backwards. Or begin to find that rocking sensation. So forwards, backwards and try to make this movement quite big and bold so you're really working into everything. Perfect, and then find stillness. Again, let's inhale, lift the left foot off the floor. Bend the left knee, bring the heel towards the bum. And then if you can, bring the weight into the left hand, reach the right hand around, find the foot and then kick the foot into the hand, hand into the foot or the ankle, and just open up everything through the front body. Again, just a really brief visit, lifting the chin, take a big breath in, and then slowly exhale, release the right hand, extends the left leg, and then just place the left knee back into tabletop position. From there, go ahead and tuck your toes under as you inhale, and then exhale, lift up and back into our first downward dog. From down dog, just begin to move around, so bicycling the legs, bending one knee, bending the other knee, thinking about pressing the chest towards the thighs to open up across the chest and the shoulders. Really, really nice. And then finding stillness. You can bend the knees if the hamstrings are feeling tight, but really try to relax the ankles. From here, look towards the fingertips and step the right foot forwards to the front of the mat. From there, pop up onto the fingertips, draw the chest forwards, and then using your left toes, begin again to rock forwards and backwards. So this is gonna work our way into the left hip flexor, the front of the left thigh. Perfect, and then find stillness, drop the left knee to the mat. Inhale, arms to the sky. If that's too much, hands onto the thigh. Chest draws forward, shoulders soften, and you're just opening again through the front of the hip. Just a big breath in and a big breath out. Beautiful. And then on an inhale, begin to straighten that right leg. Place the fingers down to the mat or blocks and flex the right toes towards your face so you're in your half split. The right leg is beginning to straighten. It doesn't matter if it doesn't straighten fully. Just 
Just breathing in, trying to lengthen the spine and breathing out. Beautiful. And then from here, inhale, look forwards if you're not already. Take your right hand over towards the left and begin to walk your fingertips towards the long edge of the mat. Once you're there, pick up your left toe, your back foot, turn it towards the right, and then bring the big toe edge of the right foot down. So you're in this kind of kneeling gait position. From here, take an inhale, lift the chin and the chest, and then exhale, push the bottom towards that left heel as you walk the hands forward. So you're really working into the right inner thigh. Drop the chin or the chest or the forehead towards the mat and just breathe in for a moment. Breathing out. Really, really nice. From there, look forwards. Walk the hands under the shoulders. Lift the bum off the heel. And then from there, we're going to walk the hands all the way around to frame the back foot. Turn the left toes towards the now back of the mat. Pick up the right heel. And then from there, inhale, step back to high plank. And then lower the knees and lower the belly and chest all the way towards the floor. Lovely. From there, take your fingertips wide off the edges of the sticky mat. Come up onto the fingertips so you're creating like little tents with the hands. From there, inhale, press into the fingertips, lift into your cobra variation. Really draw the chest forwards, the shoulders back. And then exhale, slowly lower back down. Just one more time like that. Inhale, lift everything up, open the chest. And then exhale slowly back down. Beautiful. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Tuck your toes. Inhale to tabletop position. And then exhale back into your downward facing dog. And then again, just begin to pedal out through the legs. Just bending one knee, bending the other knee. Beautiful. And then from there, find stillness. Look forwards. Step the left foot forward. Come up onto the fingertips, draw the chin and the chest forwards and then begin to rock forwards and backwards again, this time working into the right hip flexor. Perfect, and then drop the right knee. Look forwards, inhale, arms to the sky or hands come on top of that left knee, just drawing the hips forwards, working your way into it. Breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful, take one more inhale here. And then on an exhale, begin to straighten that left leg. Hands come down into that half split variation. Adjust as much as you need to, bend the knee as much as you need to. And then once you're there, see if you can draw the hips backwards till you really feel that stretch through the left hamstring. Just a moment to breathe here, inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful. From there, inhale, look forwards if you're not. Take the left hand over towards the right and then begin to walk the hands towards the long edge of the mat. Again, turn the left big toe to the floor, take the right toes behind you. So you're in this kind of gate pose uh, variation with the hands down. From there, inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, stick the bum up and then exhale, push the bottom to the heel. See if you can keep the toes tucked to so stretch through the back of the foot and then walk the hands forwards and just draw the chest or the forehead towards the floor. Just really feeling that inner thigh open. Just breathing in. Breathing out, probably feeling a nice stretch through the back of the right toes, the right foot as well. Beautiful, from there look forwards, lift the bum off the heels, walk the hands under the shoulders. And then we're going to walk the hands towards the top of the mat, front of the mat, turn the right toes back, come up onto the toes and then step back to your high plank again. 
and then from there drop your knees keep the knees where they are this time and begin to walk the hands forwards into your anahata asana puppy pose so we're going to draw the chest towards the floor maybe the forehead reaches the mat maybe it doesn't bum is in the sky maybe you wiggle side to side just taking again whatever it is you need Perfect. And then look forwards, come back into your tabletop position, walk the hands back and then tuck the toes, lift the hips back, come into downward facing dog. From there, take your feet nice and wide. So heels on the mat, toes off the mat, little bend into the knees, begin to walk the hands all the way to the back of the mat. And we're going to squat down, coming into our yogi squat. Now, for some of us, we might be on tippy toes. That's OK. Bring the elbows inside the knees if you can and just press the knees open, finding that again openness through the inner thighs into the groin. Maybe find a stillness or when you're here, just begin to choose to kind of move around side to side, just wiggling it out. Just noticing what's going on down here. <laughs> Perfect. And then finding stillness, lift up through the chest, take the fingertips behind you and then just slowly lower the bottom all the way to the mat. Cross the ankles, bring the right foot in front of the left ankle. So right ankle in front of the left ankle. Take your fingertips either side of the mat or either side of your body, lift up through the chest. From here, begin to walk your right fingertips away and then inhale the left arm up and over. Maybe you stay here, maybe your elbow can come down. Just feel a stretch wherever you are. Beautiful. And then from there, begin to fold over that right thigh. Bring the left fingertips towards the floor. And then begin to walk your fingers all the way towards the front of the mat until you're folding over the thighs. So you should feel this through the right outer hip, the glute. You can just let everything find stillness or you can just, again, take a little rock side to side. You should just really get into the outer hips. Beautiful. And then from there, lift the chin. Walk the hands towards your body. Take your fingertips behind you, fingers facing backwards or forwards. Just lift the chin and the chest, open up across the shoulders. Stay there or press into the shins. Maybe you want to lift the bum up, finding a little bit of a bigger sensation, bigger stretch through the front of the thighs. Good, and then just lower the bum down. From there, we're just going to switch sides. So we're going to bring the left ankle in front of the right ankle. Fingers either side of the body and again, grow tall through the spine. Begin to walk the left fingertips away this time and then inhale the right arm up and over. You can keep the palm down. You can come up onto, come down, sorry, onto the forearm. Just really try to press that right sit bone towards the floor. Perfect. And then again, look towards the right knee, left knee, sorry. Bring that right finger down to the floor. And then as you walk, as, and then keeping the arms really, really long, begin to walk the hands all the way around to the front. Again, walk forwards, 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 folding over the thighs. You can bring the elbows down and then you should feel this now through the left hip flexor. Maybe a little rock side to side, just getting into it a little bit deeper. Maybe stillness. Nice, guys. And then looking forwards, walking the hands all the way back towards your body. 
Just take the fingertips behind you. This time, just release the legs and just give the legs a little bit of a wiggle. Beautiful. And then from there, bring your feet together. Grow nice and tall through the spine. Take your hands either onto the thighs, the shins. Maybe you can grab the feet. Inhale, try to lengthen your spine, and then exhale, just folding over the legs. So just a big final hamstring stretch. Should feel this all through the backs of the legs. And just inhale, think about lengthening your spine. And then exhale, think about just folding forwards a little bit more. Perfect, and then slowly roll all the way back up. Again, just give the legs a little wiggle. And then just cross the ankles into a seated position that's comfortable for you, however that works. You might be kneeling, you might just have the legs out long. Just bring the hands onto the knees in the lap somewhere comfortable, and just grow tall through the spine. Let the eyes close just for a moment. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And a big sigh, let it go. Lovely, this time inhale, draw the shoulders to the ears. Exhale, release them down and back. One more time like that, inhale, shoulders to the ears. Exhale, down and back. And just let the breath return to natural. Bring the hands together into heart center. Just bow the forehead down, taking this moment just to thank yourself for allowing yourself this time today to work on your mind and your body. And as always, thank you for allowing me to guide you through this practice today. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this practice. I definitely feel a bit better. I hope you do too. And as always, let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this.